Welcome to Friesen's online tutorial series. My name is Catherine and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom color. Before you make your custom color in InDesign, you need to choose them. And for that, you're going to need the Friesen's Process Color Guide. That's the book filled with all sorts of little squares of color and corresponding CMYK values. If you don't have the Process Color Guide, you can contact your local rep or you can contact your service specialist at the plant and they will send one out to you. Once you have your process color guide, you can go through and pick the colors that you want to use in your yearbook. Now, you can make a custom color at any time during the creation of your yearbook, but the best time to do it is when you're building your base template, the template that you're going to start all of your layouts off of, and then those custom colors will be there all the time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to swatches. And we're just going to open up this menu. And as you can see, there are still some default Adobe colors. So we need to get rid of these before we can start creating our own. So we're just going to hold down shift and we're going to select each one of these colors. And we're just going to click on the trash and get rid of them. So now we're left with none paper, which is our white black and registration. So to create a new color, we're going to go to our flyout menu and select new color swatch. This is going to op open up a new window. And what we're going to do is we're going to not name the color that we've chosen with the color value. We're actually going to name it for what it will be used for and the FY number that goes along with the swatch in the process color guide. The color type is process. The color mode is CMYK. And for the color that I have chosen, which, what I'm calling headline red, for cyan, there is nothing. There is 100% magenta, there is 65% yellow, and 47% black. Now you'll notice in the square on the left that this is the color that goes with these values. Don't be alarmed if it doesn't match the one in your book. This is why we create a custom color from the book, because not all computer screens are the same. They don't show color the same way. And so that's why it's handy to have a guide that you know what it's going to look like when it gets printed. And so that's why we make a custom color swatch. Now that we've made it, we can just say OK. And I'm going to show you how easy that was by creating another one. So we're going to go to our flyout menu. We're going to go to new color swatch. I'm going to name this one accent green with the FY number 376 process CMYK. Our values for this one are 56% cyan, 0% magenta, 100% yellow, and 0% black. Say OK. And now that color is located in our swatches. You can make as many swatches as you want. If you're having any trouble with this, contact your local rep or your service specialist at the plant.